ASML employees around the world work every day to make computer chips better. The fundamental challenge that we face at Bryan and at ASML is creating thin lines with a broad brush. Jim Kuhnman lives in Silicon Valley near San Francisco. He works at ASML Bryan in Santa Clara. His job is to find new ways to make computer chips smarter. ASML Brian is active in developing a scanner simulator. This simulator can predict errors and can optimize chip patterns so that later, during chip production, yield is increased and even smaller and smarter chips can be produced. I travel a lot to meet chip makers. I'm in Asia almost every month because that's where most of the chip makers have their headquarters and factories. And I often speak at conferences to discuss our new ideas. As chips become smaller and smaller, the margin of error in the production process has become so tight that new methods are required in the development and pre-production of chips. Our lithography simulator, which includes a detailed model of the scanner, can certainly help in this process. Adjusting the pattern on the mask was one of the first applications of heavy-duty computing and simulation in lithography. That's how we got the name computational lithography, because first it starts in a computer and then it moves to the scanner in the fab. What you see here is optical proximity correction, where we are progressively adjusting the patterns on the mask in order to accommodate or correct for the light diffraction patterns. You can see on the right-hand side that the pattern on the wafer becomes progressively sharper, the imaging gets better. This is heavy-duty computation and can require hundreds if not thousands of CPUs running days at a time in order to converge on an optimal result. We are constantly looking for new ways to use the simulated scanner to help our customers. One of the important aspects of the scanning process is the shape of the light beam that hits the mask. The current complex chips require optimization of both the source shape and the source intensity in order to properly image those chips. By optimizing the source in a simulation mode, we can avoid significant production costs if we were to do it in the fab environment. Each of those computational models can increase performance of the real scanner by 10 to 30 percent. But that's not all. The scanner has a great many other knobs that we can adjust virtually. We can use those knobs to make scanners perform better and more alike. Making all scanners perform the same is the objective of our scanner matcher program. Here you see eight scanners along with a golden scanner profile with also the contours on the wafer associated with that profile. We first do a simulation of scanner number one, check the differences between the contours, and then we can update a recipe to that first scanner and match it to the golden scanner. Similarly, for the other scanners on the floor, we can also update their recipes for this chip by matching the contours using computer simulation. The end result is a factory with high quality, high efficiency, and high productivity across all scanners. This integration of computer power, fast and accurate measurement, and knowledge of the scanner is a holistic approach to lithography because the elements all need to work together to get the best result. It's interesting that chip makers are starting to recognize the importance. It took us a while. These are not easy concepts and they require the cooperation of those who design the chips and those who produce the chips in the fab. Holistic lithography was the step we really need to keep Moore's law going. Not just to make transistors smaller, but also to give chip makers the ability to lower their costs and improve the yield of good chips per wafer.